Hey folks, uh, this lesson is a fast lesson. It's, it's very similar to the last one. We're just measuring area in square units, okay? So here's our common core strand for our teachers. And how can we find the uh, area of a plane shape? So we're going to be dealing with rectangles and other shapes. So here's the shape right here. So each unit square in the diagram is one square foot. So how many square feet are in the shaded area? So we just got to count up all these little squares because each one is one square foot. So if we just keep counting them, so... I'm going to go across the top, there's one, and then just keep going, so seven, and then I'm going to go down the left-hand side, so that gives us 12, and then down the right-hand side, there, all the way to 17, and then count the middle parts right here, so uh, you don't have to count them in that order, but you'll end up getting 23 squares, so how many square feet are shaded? 23 square feet right there. So what is the area of the, sh uh, of the area that's not being shaded? So that's all the other squares, so let's go ahead and count those. So there's uh, five right there, I'll count the other side over there all the way to 10 and then count the middle in there and so we get a total of 19 right there so how many are not shaded 19 square feet so what's the area of the entire figure well it's going to be you can count them all up or you can just add these two numbers 23 plus 19 so I know 23 plus uh, 20 is 43 so 23 plus 19 is 42 one less than that 42 square feet don't forget the square feet okay always area problems always end in square units so in this case it was square feet right here so so and Andy is painting a mural on a wall. He divides the area into sections that are each one square foot. So here's the diagram over here with the square foot. So what is the area of the, mur the mural right there? So we're just going to count all those squares right there. So I just uh, did one right here so we can count them. So we can just go through just like the last one. We just start counting. So one, two, three four five six so there's six there plus six more six plus six is twelve plus another six right there so twelve plus six is eighteen so eighteen square feet is uh what that mural is going to be okay see it's really easy you guys so does this make sense or is it nonsense so tony places gray square tiles on the shape shown he says that the shape has an area of twelve square units does this make sense okay well there's twelve squares here here's 12 squares but does this whole area have 12 squ uh, square units no it's more than that because you got this empty space in between so so that empty space also has area so the area is something more than 12 square units right there okay nice and easy all right all right so and then write an area problem that can be solved using the rectangle a and rectangle b and then solve the problem so somehow we got to do uh, this area and relate this area so I talked about uh, square air um, square feet in a garden right here so so John is planting a garden that has the size of rectangle A. I don't even think I said square feet. So Bob could be square yards, could be square anything. So Bob is planting a garden that is the size of rectangle B. So how much more area is John's garden than Bob's garden? So we got to count up the squares in John's garden. So here's John right here. So there's 5 here plus 5 plus 5 is 15. Okay, so John's is 15 and Scott's is, uh, or Bob's is uh uh, 10. Okay, so John's garden is going to be 5 more than uh, Bob's garden because we subtract them right there. Okay, so it just said make an example that represents that. All right, you guys, nice fast lesson. Take care.